In the previous lesson, we had created this real-time Firebase database and had created these two children nodes, one called Agree and one called Disagree. In this lesson, we're going to create the basic Android Studio app called Clicker, and we're going to tie that app to this database. Uh, to do that, we first want to make sure, once again, that we are currently logged in to our personal Google account, as shown here and now I'm going to open Android Studio and create a new project. So from this familiar menu I'm going to click start a new project and I'm going to call this the clicker. Here we want to make sure that we're using at least API 19 or greater so that we're working with the latest revisions in Firebase. This is important. We're going to start with an empty activity. And now I'm just going to wait for Android Studio to finish building it. We've got ourselves a fresh Android Studio project now. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to connect this app to the Firebase project we created earlier. So to do that, we're going to go to Tools and go to Firebase. And this side menu will pop up. Now, as we mentioned earlier, the authentication is something that we're going to defer to later. What we're really interested in right now is connecting the real-time database. So we're going to click on that, and we're going to say that that's what we want. And this first button will uh, put in the necessary information into Android Studio to connect this app to the Firebase project. So when I click on this, it's going to ask whether we want to create a new uh, project on Firebase called Clicker or if we want to use an existing project. Since we already have created an existing project on Firebase, we want to make sure we choose this second bullet item here and click this Clicker app. Here, it will create a new Clicker project on Firebase and that's not what we want. It is possible uh, to create the Firebase project from here instead of on Firebase like we did manually. All right, so let's do that. Now let's connect the app to Firebase. And I'm going to just pause the video for a second until it's finished. Now I get this message in the bottom saying that this uh, project has been connected to the Firebase project. The other thing we have to do now is we have to update the Gradle build dependencies to incorporate the Firebase. Uh, one other important thing I want to mention here is that if you have previously turned on the offline work capability in Gradle to speed up your compiles, you're going to have to turn that back off now and, and uh, because Firebase is an online product. So uh, you'll get a build error if you don't. So let's uh, click on this button right here and right now Android Studio is offering to put in all the build dependencies for us. So I'm going to just accept those changes and then in a couple of minutes here it's going to finish uh, updating the build scripts to be able to have Firebase inside our app. Once we get this message from Gradle saying that it's finished building the build, uh, that's all we need to do now to connect our app to Firebase and we can go on to the business of actually writing the code for the app now.